Hey everyone and welcome, my name is Nigel Hay and this is another Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're here at Crystal Beach and this is your welcoming sign to Crystal Beach, the south coast of Canada it proclaims. Uh, did you know that Crystal Beach was actually ranked among the 50 uh, top beaches in North America? It's also ranked in the top 400 beaches throughout the world as being the, one of the best. Uh, but that is ranked by Flight Network and for some reason I don't quite believe that one. So anyway, uh, we're here on this fantastic Canada Day uh, here in uh, Southern Ontario and we're going to be checking out Crystal Beach. So anyway, to all you Canadians out there, happy Canada Day. We're just walking along Erie Road where I parked down there is uh, free parking for two hours and if you pay you got to pay along here but just back there it's two hours free so I'll do that I'm only gonna be here for a couple of hours uh, the beach opened in 1926 uh, by a guy called John E Rebstock I'm gonna say Rebstock if it's Rebstock just correct me in the comments below but I believe it's John Rebstock uh, he, he, he bought the land turned it into a beach and it's been here ever since uh, Wikipedia has it down as the Caribbean of the North. Don't know how true that is, uh, but we're going to have a look and see what you think. Is it the Caribbean of the North? Is it uh, ranked, should it be ranked in the top 40 beaches of North America? And should it be ranked in the top 400 beaches of the world? Uh, where I come from in the UK, I grew up in Cornwall, which has some of the best beaches in the world by far. And I'll show you some of those beaches right now, like this one, Port of Corno. Probably the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. And then you have Perrinporth, New Quay, uh, Brixham, not Brixham. Um, oh, loads of great beaches down here. And then we have the Canadian beaches. So this is what I'm going to show you today, Crystal Beach. All right, in order to get on the beach, you do have to show your pass. And this is exactly where you show your pass, right here. And uh, they will not let you on the beach. It is pretty good security around here. And you have to have your pass. You go in, they check your bags. You can't bring tents and uh, barbecues or anything like that. So they are pretty strict in that, but it's for safety reasons only. And uh, yeah, you go on the beach. And I'm going to show you the beach in a second. But before we get to this uh, world-class beach, which is meant to be the Caribbean of the North, we have this brand new facility here, which is, of course, is the washrooms. Changing rooms, the whole lot. A nice little seating area. And normally the park would be open, but we are still in lockdown right now, so the park is still closed. So uh, let's head on down to the beach. <music>
<laughs> one happy guy. Here we are, Crystal Beach. I'm on the beach. Is it Caribbean worthy? You can be the judge, not me. Uh, leave the comments below. Uh, I like what they've done here. They've got themselves a nice little uh, rollout here, so it's wheelchair accessible. So if you've got a wheelchair, a mobility device, you can get onto the beach. And the staff here are extremely friendly and very welcoming. I've seen a lot of it. I've already been here a couple of minutes. I've seen a lot of people being helped already. Uh, so yeah, you just come on down the ramp onto this blue uh, meshy thing, and you can either go that way or that way, and take you straight onto the beach. Uh, so everyone is uh, accommodated best they can. Garbage cans are a plenty, which is good. Good to see. The sand is clean. It is nice. And the water looks pretty clean. All right, just to let you know, the water levels are nearly at record highs right now. They reached their peak last June. Uh, I believe it was June 21st, 2019. They were at a record high level. It didn't quite make it. They got to their highest uh, just the other week, which is like five centimeters short. And that's why the beach is uh, a little narrow right now. They're actually saying this last, last few days, the water levels have started to recede slightly. Uh, this is all due to the heavy rains we had back in January and February. And then the snow further up north melting. So a lot more rainwater than normal in the winter has caused the lake levels to rise, especially in Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Public beach behind me, private beach here, separated uh, by the rocks. And overall, is it a good beach? It's not bad. So apparently the beach actually ranks 39th out of the 50 top beaches in North America. What do you think? Is it worth it? Is it worth the ranking? I mean, there's a lot of beaches throughout the whole of Ontario, which uh, I'd say a miles better than this. I mean, this is really good, but is it one of the best? You'll have to be the judge for that if you ever come down here. If you've been before, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what you think of uh, Crystal Beach compared to other beach like Kilbear in Northern Ontario. So in a comparison, it's really nice, but it's really small. What is it? Visit Crystal Beach. Get away. There you have it, a couple of uh, future YouTubers uh, jumping in front of my video. Uh, so someone left me a comment on my uh, one of my pages a while back about the rocks. And I guess this is what you're talking about. All the uh, rocks sticking out of the uh, water here. And it is on uh, the town side, so it'd be nice to see whether the town could try and clear this up some, somewhat. It is, uh, it is pretty dangerous. And I was here last week, and I think I still have the video. And if I do, I'll put it up right now. But there was a metal spike sticking out of the ground here, which I thought was very dangerous. And all the way along, there is a lot of dangers here. I've noticed where if kids aren't being watched or left unattended, if they run and trip, they could easily get impaled, impaled, I should say, on one of these spikes which are sticking out of the ground. So you just got to be careful at this end of the beach if you're down this way. Uh, apart from that, the beach has been pretty good. Apparently this beach gets a praise for its flawless white sands. It's not quite white to me. It's nice, but it, it's not that white. All right, so what you need to know for uh, the summer of 2020 here at uh, Crystal Beach in Fort Erie is once again, this beach is only open to residents and you do have to have a membership card, which is basically, it's just, it's a card you pick up from the town of Fort Erie and it tells you that you're a resident. So only residents of Fort Erie uh, can have access to this beach this summer. And this is only due to the COVID lockdown. And uh, while we're still in phase two, uh, I doubt it's gonna change throughout this summer, but by next year, hopefully it'll be open to everyone again. But speaking to some of the locals, a lot of locals are kind of liking it right now. I mean, uh, it's usually shared by thousands and thousands of people. And as you can see today, it's, it's still a nice crowd, but it's not overpacked. 
and everyone I've spoken to is from around this area, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, the out-of-towners have to go elsewhere. Just want to let you know, there's nothing here by the beach where you can get a drink or anything to eat, so make sure you pack a cooler. Uh, but just down the road, about 200 meters, there is a cafe and a couple of bars, and I'll just quickly show you them. Literally is about 200 meter walk from the exit of the beach. Oh, just lost my sunlight, so I'm in the dark. Until you get to the little cafe down there, there's a couple of bars and so on. So uh, I'll just show you what they look like from the outside. And uh, just make sure you wear your flip flops or your shoes when you walk down here, because the sidewalk's red hot. It's actually very pretty as well down here. I love these hanging baskets. Look at that. Gorgeous. That place looks good. This is Casa Hugo, a Mexican eatery. It looks kind of lively, a nice place to go. So if you're in Crystal Beach, check it out. For ice creams, it's Chili Shack. And walking further on down here, you got Crystal Ball and sneakers, all within 200 meters of the beach. And if you walk just a little bit further down, maybe another 30, 40 meters, there's a nice Italian pizza place here. Very nice, spacious patio. And uh, right now it's only 1.30 in the afternoon, so there's no one around, but I'm sure later on this afternoon, this evening, it'll be busy. But yeah, get on down to Crystal Beach if you're from the uh, Fort Erie region and uh, even the Niagara region. Just if you're from the Niagara region that have a pass, just don't go on that beach, but hey, come down here, check out the restaurants, get a bite to eat and have a drink. San Vito's is the name of it, San Vito's. All right, I've enjoyed myself so far down at uh, Crystal Beach. Time to move on. Like I said, I wanna go and find out where the, uh, the out of towners are going for the day. Uh, people on the beach were telling me, check out Pleasant Beach, which is just not too far away. So we'll have a quick walk, uh, quick drive up there. I'm sure that place is gonna be packed. I don't know if I'll find anywhere to park, but we'll have a look. And then we'll head back this way, head, check out the palm wood and then uh, I'll take it from there. But anyway, once again, it is Canada Day here in Canada, July 1st, 2020, phase two of the lockdown, and we're slowly getting back to normal. It's kind of sad, really. <laughs> 